Oh, here we go. Frame and check. Bottom plate, top plate, and two studs. That'll hold it. So I get the rest of the studs in there. That's how I build my walls. That's how I was taught. I don't do prefab walls. Most of the houses I work in be old, and ceilings be crooked as shit. Nonetheless, ain't no jack studs either. It's just holding drywall. It ain't no support, nothing. You hear me? Nonetheless, my little cross members is 10 foot ceilings. That's how I build the uh, wall there. My perpendicular walls. This is going to be a closet for the master here. Another top and bottom plate. Two studs to hold it. And fill in with the rest. And once I make my mark. Oh, there we go. Get it square. 6, 8, 10. There you go. 3, 4, 5. It's really too small for 3, 4, 5. 6, 8, 10 is better. Bigger room. So I get square. Leave my little gap in the corner for the drywallers. All right, going five eighths. Line up the window for the window jam. Top bottom plate, <laughs> two studs to hold it up. You can do it by yourself. That's how I do it. That's how I was taught. Make my marks every 16 and then fill in. And then I come back and level out the wall. Oh, here we go. Frame and check continued. Got the pass load, because at first I was using some fucking screws. Because he didn't want to buy no nails for parlay, trying to help parlay out on this rehab with the framing. Um, yeah, every 16, the cross members are for strength and for fire. And then I got tired of cutting on the floor, got my horses. All I had was the, uh, at first it was a drill and a saw, then it was the pass load, the saw tape measure, that's it. I didn't even have my chop saw. He ain't had no damn power. That shit was blowing me. This is a whole cluster. I end up hooking the power up at the end. All right, this is the closet wall here. That's for your perpendicular walls. So your stud will have something to nail to. Uh, it's likely not going to hit 16 on center. Nice and square. I use that middle piece to bow out the bottom plate, cut the openings for the doorway. The top plate needs something to screw to in between the joists. And who are run it up. Once I get the top plate up with two studs temporarily, I can measure it and get all the studs to fit in between. You got to always account for the drywall, guys. So on the outside, you need studs. And on the inside corner, you need extra studs. So on a short wall like that, you get like three studs on the corner. Oh, here we go. Frame and check. Finish up this second floor of this rehab full gut to the brick. This is the closet full length, about 10 feet. It's going to be two doors, French doors or baffle. Preferably French baffles, it's always something happened to them damn things. Nonetheless, I need something for the top plate to nail to. Got the bottom plates squared away. And the outside corner here, two by fours, count for the drywallers. Because you do the outside corner, you got to throw an extra one on for the inside corner, on the inside of the wall. All right? If you know, you know. Nonetheless, every 16 inches on center. Over to this bathroom here, it's kind of a clusterfuck because uh, look at the floor. It's wide open. You're supposed to do that first. But they wanted me to finish the framing, like, whatever. I had to put down a door and my ladder to work on top of that shit. Nonetheless, like I said, it's only holding up drywall. Nothing structural. No jack studs, no double top plate. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So six, uh, six inch wet wall. Get something to nail two on the bottom there where the joists were. And back into the closet to finish up a few studs. Uh, the cripples. Forget the terminology. Nonetheless, nice and square and level, plumb, looking good in the neighborhood. And finish up the bathroom, the wet wall, over round windows in each room. And uh, yeah, pass load and circular saw. That's all I had. Cause they didn't get no power to the end. By that time, I was in mode. And this last little couple of pieces. Hey man, my corners. The corners weren't fully demoed. I couldn't get my wood in there. You just pulled out that damn stack. Nonetheless, who? Cool.